rotating. And obviously the rotations can fight gravity only to a certain point, right? You see, once I start tilting down at whatever angle this is, 30 degrees, uh, no amount of rotations that I can man maintain uh, are going to, to save it. So don't think you can, you can you know, rotate it where it's like basically pointing straight down. Uh, uh, so like here, I am uh, perpendicular to the floor approximately. Uh, as I start tilting down, that's where I start getting into an issue of losing control over it. So again, this is something you can practice for yourself. So I'm going to try and spin really, really fast. And you can see that's actually not helping. Well, actually it is. Uh, I t okay, I take that back. Uh, what do I know? Uh, so the question is how, how rapid uh, can you control it? So you can see there, I just kind of uh, wiped out uh, as it were. But uh, again, as ridiculous as this will seem when you're doing it, if you can control a ball of honey for say a minute or more as you're doing your rotations, uh, you, you're in a good position. Then what will be very frustrating is of course switching to your non-dominant hand. Again, as I mentioned, I am right-handed. So once I started uh, trying to uh, get better at glass blowing, uh, I started uh, intentionally doing glass blowing work uh, using my left hand as the dominant hand. Uh, one of the, uh, the earliest things that I, uh, I learned how to do uh, with this, with this well, actually the first thing I learned how to do as far as this rotation uh, is concerned was uh, make glass icicles. And once I got halfway decent uh, uh, doing it with my right hand, I made an effort to use my left hand as if it were my dominant hand, and uh, that forced me to, again, learn how to or, or get comfortable with doing this rotation. Because again, uh, as I said, I, I am not uh, a lefty, but I can rotate the gla uh, this glass rod, or in this case, the, the wooden dowel rod, uh, with the gather uh, of honey and have reasonable good control over it. Uh, honey is also going to flow uh, much faster than glass in most cases. When the glass gets incredibly hot, it will flow very rapidly. Uh, but the trick is you come out of the flame and it cools down, uh, and that slows the flow of the glass. However, with the honey, uh, there is no flame, uh, so you don't have that same effect. So again, it's not, it's not the perfect simulator, but it's much better than anything else. Okay. So, as I was editing uh, this video, uh, I made reference to using my right hand uh, or uh, using my left hand, you know, your, your dominant hand, in my case, uh, it's the right hand, uh, or the left, but the one thing I didn't mention, which is absolutely paramount in glass blowing, is of course using both hands simultaneously. I'm going to gather up some honey uh, with my right, as I've done so in the previous video. And then while that's kind of moving, I'm going to gather up some, oh, see, notice how I look down and uh, kind of forgot what I was doing, oh, see, there it goes, of uh, not paying attention uh, as I was trying to gather more up for my left. And let's see if I can get this to equilibrate. So right now my left hand is at a terrible angle. So what I'm trying to do, hopefully this looks good on the camera. I can't see uh, what's going on in the camera. So I'll just hope for the best. Uh, there we go. So I've kind of got myself in a reasonably good position. Uh, so you can see I am rotating uh, and controlling the gathers uh, uh, with both hands. Uh, at some point, you know, like if this was actually, you know, me doing some glass blowing, uh, I would do this. I'd touch them together, and now the goal is, well, I'm, I don't have two gathers. I have one big one, right? In other words, so I'm, I'm actually, now let's see, I can pull, pull away. Oh, look at that. Uh, this is, this is literally the first time I've actually done this. Uh, so I don't know if this is working or going to work, but it seems to actually work, which I, I think I can get about. Let's see how far how far apart can I get these before they fall? Uh, almost an inch, or thereabouts, maybe maybe half, three quarters. Okay, bring that back. Again, you need to tilt it down. 
so right now, uh, for no apparent reason, uh, I am holding a gather of honey uh, between these two wooden dowel rods. Uh, now, I'm saying that kind of sarcastically, obviously. Uh, the reason is uh, to show you uh, controlling the glass is about having rotation, having my hands move automatically uh, in a way that brings the glass back on center. Uh, so now I'm actually pushing the two dowel rods together and you can see I've made one kind of big mammoth gather uh, in between. But during that whole process of moving away and moving forward, I'm keeping my right and my left hand working together, rotating at the same time. Uh, now, you might think, well, what if I just stop one hand and just rotate the other, right? Doesn't work. Uh, what would actually happen is if you were doing this with glass, if you stop one hand, uh, you know, like if I stop my left and kept my right going or vice versa, uh, it would twist the glass. Uh, but in this case, if I'm trying to hold that gather, I need both of my hands to, uh, to keep moving. Uh, there are techniques where uh, you can use one hand for support but not rotate. Uh, it wouldn't work in this case because the viscosity of the honey wouldn't have enough uh, uh, torque uh, to move the other dowel rod. Uh, so, uh, so anything I say as far as techniques, you can always find some little nuancey thing that doesn't quite fit to, to what I'm talking about. But here for, again, the uh, uh, this whole trying to maintain a gather, uh, you can see, you know, I'm kind of actually now just moving the glass back and forth, hoping for the best. Uh, but again, none of this would uh, be even remotely possible if I didn't have my right and my left hand uh, rotating uh, at the same speed and in alignment. Uh, in other words, if I'm too high, if I'm too low, uh, to the left, to the right, whatever, uh, that's going to be a problem. In other words, it's going to start uh, start distorting the glass, uh, and it's going to flop around, you know, and uh, and make a mess. Uh, the the whole exercise, the whole purpose of this exercise, is to make it intuitive uh, for your hand rotations. When I was first doing this, it was very frustrating of trying to tell my hand to rotate uh, at a certain speed. and But in this case, uh, once I got the gather on the left and got a new gather for the right, uh, I think I pretty much uh, kept moving both. Uh, uh, both hands, that is, as far as their rotations. So again, uh, you can see uh, the, the relative position of your hands uh, is going to be dependent on the situation. And what I mean by that is, if there was a flame right here, where I'm moving my right hand, uh, if I wanted uh, the glass to get really hot, I'd move the, my, my gathers you know, into the flame. If I was working with my left, but not my right, I might have my right hand rotating much further away from the flame uh, as I finish up whatever I need to on the left, or vice versa, and then bring them together and go from there. But again, this is something that uh, it has to be uh, second nature, uh, where you, your hands are just rotating, you're looking at the glass, and if the glass gets a little bit off-center, rather than panicking, you simply speed up your rotation or slow it down or change the angle, and you don't even think about it. Uh, so this is, like I said, something that uh, the uh, only way to get good at it is to just just do glass blowing uh, a lot. Or in this case, if you don't have access to a torch uh, uh, that easily, oh, see I'm losing it on my left hand for some reason. Uh, do this drill of the honey, and it will it will pay off in spades uh, when you are doing this doing this for real.